This is the center console with electric shifter that you can get in the Refresh Chevy Silverado. I have the center console on my LT Trail Boss because I upgraded to bucket seats. Otherwise, I would have had a bench seat with a column shifter. I do like the location of the shifter being on the center console. That's really similar to the other vehicles I drive. I and mean, it does really look nice. Uh, note that it doesn't really do anything if the vehicle's off. If you push the button or push it forward and back, it doesn't really matter. So I'll start the vehicle up. So you can see that it's in park. If I want to uh, put it in reverse or drive, I do need to push this button on the side. So reverse is forward. You do have to put your foot on the brake or it will not shift. So now you can see reverse is lit up. So if I left my let my foot off the gas, I'd start rolling backwards. And then to put it in park, you push this park button. That's taken some getting used to. I'm used to shifting it into park. Similar for if I want to go into drive, push the button on the side, pull back, I'm in drive. I believe you can shift into neutral without pushing the button in. So if I just push it forward, and actually I have my foot on the brake right now without pushing the button in, I can even switch into drive. But I did notice it does not let me switch into reverse without pushing the button. If you go into drive and then go into drive again, it will then put it in low. You can then use the paddles on the steering wheel to be able to tell it the max gear that you'll allow it to shift to while in low. So there's two paddles on the steering wheel. The one on the right will take it up and the one on the left will take it down. Again, that is to limit the highest gear that would be available while you're driving. And then to go back into drive, you would just pull back again and it would put it back in drive. It did take me a little while to get used to this shifter, especially pushing the button to park because I'm used to you know, pushing the button in and shifting all the way forward. So my biggest concern would be I forget to do that. I go all the way forward thinking I'm in, I'm in park, but I'm actually in reverse or something like that. The console has tons of storage. So there's a large area up here, a thin one here, and even a small one here. And each of these, except for this one, actually this one does too, it just doesn't have a tab have a little piece of rubber that comes out. So you can pull this tab and they come out, which will make it really easy. You can just clean these and then put them back in. The cup holders are also very large. So I have a very large water bottle. This does not fit in a cup holder in any of our other vehicles, um, but it does fit in this one. So if we face the other direction, you can see there is a wireless phone charger here and then this huge storage thing. Uh, but in addition to that, there is this little pocket up here. That's actually where I usually leave my phone. I don't, my phone does not support wireless charging. So this is just a perfect spot to set my phone. Uh, to open this, you do need to push this little button on the front before you flip it up. It has a shelf in here, um, which sits right here, which can be picked up. Very deep storage. Again, this has the little rubber piece at the bottom that you can bring out and clean it easily. It also has uh, USB chargers and a 12 volt charger. The manual says that these um, outlets are always on, so you don't want to leave things plugged in. And the truck's off right now, so I'm going to actually test it and see if it actually is on. We tried to use this for um, using a vacuum a small hand vac and it didn't work unless i actually plugged or turned the vehicle on so it's still not charging let me turn the truck all the way on so i can see it's charging now it says charging on the screen and i noticed there is a little green light that shows up that was only on when the vehicle's on so even though the manual says it's always on it doesn't appear to actually be on unless you turn the vehicle on. I still wouldn't leave anything plugged in with the vehicle off. There's also a light in the back of this, which would help at night to be able to see in here. For the phone charger to charge, the vehicle either needs to be on or accessory mode needs to be on for that to actually charge the vehicle. It will not charge a phone if the vehicle is completely off. There is additional storage on each side of the console. There's a little shelf that you can put stuff in on, on each side. Taking a look at the back side of the center console, there are two large cup holders here as well. 
again uh, my cup hold my large water bottle fits this one is a little bit tighter it doesn't go out as far down but it, they are still fairly large cup holders there is a vent on each side although the back seat people cannot control the temperature or air anything that's all done from the front I believe each side is tied in with the driver side and passenger side controls they can't have their separate and there are two chargers here as well there are cup holders in the door, but I don't really like using them because then you're shutting the door with the drink in the door and they're quite a bit smaller. These are way more convenient and larger. I really like the center console on my new Chevy Silverado with the electric shifter. The one thing you are giving up is an additional passenger. So I can only seat five people with a bench seat. You could actually get six, but with all the extra storage and the cup holders and the shifter, it's definitely the right choice for me. If you have any questions or video ideas, please leave me a comment. Also, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.